Lobos, and welcome back to another episode of La Mesa Not So Live. This is our sixth episode of the year, and we are committed to continue until the end of the school year by providing you with announcements, suggestions, and segments. I'm your host, Maddie, and here's an art segment you might enjoy. Hi guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to make an origami butterfly. Let's get to it. First get a square sheet of paper. Then what you do is you grab one side of the paper and fold it diagonally. Then you do the same thing to the other side and just fold diagonally. After you finish that, you grab this one side of the paper and fold it like a taco or hot dog style. Also, you do that to the other side of the paper. Then you grab the side of the paper and you fold it down like this. And now your paper should look like a triangle. If you need help on this part, all you gotta do is fold the back of the paper and you should, and it should be easy for you to fold like a triangle. You take one side of the triangle and fold it up. You do the exact same thing to the other side. Now there should be a diamond looking shape on the paper. Then you take the paper and flip it over. You grab the other paper side and fold it up. This might be a little hard to do, but you can like press, you can fold the little side so it won't rip. Then you take the little excess corner there and you can, and you fold it down. Then you grab the butterfly and fold it in half. You take, you grab the little part at the end, hold it, and then you open the butterfly. And now you got a butterfly. You can also glue that little metal part there if you want it to stick. And that's how you make an origami butterfly. Now back to you, host. Here's an announcement. If you are a seventh grader and you have filled out an application to be in video production or on the yearbook staff, don't forget to send it to Mr. Jacobson at sjacobson at heartdistrict.org. As you are well aware, we've been in quarantine for about two months now. You've become an expert cook, you've watched everything on Netflix and Disney+, Plus, and there isn't a place in the neighborhood where you haven't walked your dog. What is there to do? We have offered numerous suggestions, and you're probably getting tired of those too. Well, sorry. Because here's Jackson with a few more suggestions. Hey Lobos, I'm sure if you're not doing your schoolwork right now, you're probably really bored at your house since there's not much to do. If that is the case, I've made a list of things that you can do if you're bored. The first thing that you can do is, if you have a pet, have some time with them. Plus, since you're probably going to be home a lot of the time, I'm sure they'd love the attention. Another thing that you can do is clean around your house. For all you people out there with siblings, why not be with them? I'm sure they'd love to be with you. Oh, can I leave now? Sure. Maybe if you enjoy sports, there's some indoor sports and some outdoor sports, like football. Maybe if sports isn't your thing, then you can do some art activities, like making a drawing or painting something. Then you can binge watch a TV show or maybe watch a movie. And one last thing to do is read or do your schoolwork. Well, Lobos, I hope this helped cure your boredom. See you later. I think that's the last time we'll do that. <laughs> Here's something to do in the kitchen with McKenna. Are you super hungry and want to eat candy and cookies? Well, here's your solution. Rollo cookies. Let me show you how to make them. First things first, you have to preheat the oven to 350. Next, you're going to put your chocolate cake mix, vegetable oil, and two eggs into a bowl. Then 
you're going to stir until combined. Then you have to unwrap your Rolos. I suggest getting the un already unwrapped packs because it's very time consuming. This part gets a little messy, but what you're gonna do is take your cookie dough and your Rollo and put the Rollo in the middle and roll it into a ball until it's completely covered and then put it on your cookie sheet. You're going to bake them for about 8 to 10 minutes. Once they're out, you tap them on the top to flatten them out a little bit. After tapping, you're going to transfer to a parchment paper. The last step is to sprinkle a little bit of powdered sugar on each cookie. This is optional, but I like to do it. You're done. This makes about two to three dozen. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it and it brought a little sense of normal back into your lives. We here in the video production class care about you and we hope you are staying safe and staying healthy. This might possibly be our very last episode of the year. If it is, have a great summer and hopefully the crew will see you back on the Mesa Live in the fall. As for me, I'm off to Golden Valley. Bye. <laughs>